All right, everybody, I'm back today to do an update on Adamant Finance on the Polygon Network. And that's a platform that does AMM farming for you so you can join a lot of different farms and just get more of the tokens that you invest in them. So you can kind of not worry about not selling a farm token before it goes down in value. And it's kind of a different way to look at yield farming. You don't have to manage the farm as closely and watch the tokens unless you go into the risky ones. And even if you go into the risky ones, because some of those tokens are given to the Adamant platform and you get Adamant instead of that token, if that token does a big drop quickly, you lose a little less value because some of that value was in the Adamant token. Still, the Adamant token is a farm token. So just like almost all farm tokens go work out there, they do trend down in value as they inflate and they inflate forever and they have to have a good enough good usage and good reasons to not sell the token for the value to really hold and so i'll be going over the adamant token the reasons why people are locking that token up for longer now and why i still enjoy using this platform but do know this is a platform that still holds a very small amount of my overall portfolio because i'm not completely sold on whether or not it's going to grow but it is a platform that i think basically took the ideas of Pancake Bunny, built it on Polygon while adding in some of the staking features that Ellipsis kind of started and some of the stuff from Curve and mixed them together to create a platform that basically had a lot of different features. The other thing about this token, it's a government token, governance token. There's been two recent governance votes that were pretty close that changed a lot of things out on the platform and they also had their Certic audit recently. Now, if you're invested in this platform and you haven't been keeping up, you want to make sure you go into their Discord and you go through their announcement channel. As you can see, they're very, very active in here. This is just all the announcements in the last few days. So there's a very active team. They're doing quite a lot of changes. And one of the main announcements to know is we do have a decrease in the amount of Addy that is going to be issued per Ethereum. They earn, this is similar to the way Bunny was, uh, Pancake Bunny issued the Bunny token for every BNB. Well, they issue the Adamant token for every uh, Ethereum that they earn in fees and they were issuing originally for 50 then they went down to 425 per ethereum now they're going to be going down to 400 per ethereum and that will continue to decrease to slow the inflation of the token but it won't ever completely disappear but you know decreasing inflation is good for the overall price but it also lowers the apys and aprs in farms if the price does not appreciate quick enough so that's something that you have to be aware of when you're looking at something like this so I'll have a link to this Discord so you can go through them all. Now the Certic audit did come through. I'll have a link in the description both to the Medium post that the team did about the audit where they do do a summary of the report and they explain some of the issues that they did not resolve that Certic found because there are some access that Certic thinks is kind of dangerous that this project needs because they are a fast moving project. They like to add a lot of new farms. They have the governance mechanism built into where we get to vote and decide on changes and if they completely revoked certain ownership or didn't have certain access to certain things then you'd have governance of a project that can't change anything now if you don't like that if you like more projects that renounce their control of a lot everything and don't allow changes to be made then adamant might not be the right project for you but for now you'd have to know that they do have the ability to change things you can read through here to understand what the things that they say they have to leave in place and it's mainly the ability so that they can put out additional farms and so that they can make changes to the APYs and the AP bonuses, like because they do put those to governance votes and they are trying new things because they know that in this space that if you just have a farm and it just sits there and your site isn't evolving, it's going to your APR is going to go down, your value is going to go down, and you have to be changing things a lot. Otherwise, you're just going to run into a lot of trouble. You can go to the Certic site. The audit is up here, and you can click on the PDF and read the whole thing if you want. As you can see, they didn't find any critical issues. They found some of the major findings they found have to do with the privilege that the project has to make all those changes. They resolved two of them they didn't need, but they did leave a few in place. Of the six medium findings, they cleaned up all the ones like the volatile code and all the problems that would be concerning to me, but they left some of that privileged control in place. They didn't, the minor findings weren't big enough for them to go ahead and spend time changing at this point. And then there's just these info findings that they found that they did resolve seven of them, but these are really almost 
things that nobody would really care about their, their pretty quick cleanup. So I would say overall, they've done a pretty good job responding to the audit, resolving the major issues that could be resolved and explaining why they need some of the access that a good audit firm does want to make you sure you understand that they have. Now, if we go into one of the interesting things I want to talk about in the project since last time I was looking at it, they do have now these adamant buyback programs going into place that was voted on and passed and put into place. This was a pretty close vote and not everybody wanted this to happen, but basically they've added in a feature where they're going to be randomly throughout the month doing buybacks of the Addy token to help support the price and then giving that token out to people who have locked, they're going to buy it up and distribute it to people who have locked their tokens. because basically they're saying that they're going to take some of the tokens from the weak hands people who are willing to sell it and put it into the hands of the strong hands who are right now staking their token in a locked way and we're going to be talking about the new locked way and how they're really really pushing people to lock tokens and lock tokens for a long amount of time if they want to get the highest return from some of the different farms in the platform which is kind of a good thing to do because it shows if you're going to be somebody who's going to be using this platform bouncing around from the different farms on the platform because it is designed for you to do that that you are going to go ahead and lock up a bunch of Addy. That way you get a nice big bonus when you're going into those farms compared to people who are just going into the farms and just selling all their Addy and selling and selling and selling. Well, then they're going to get less and that's a good idea. So they do do a weekly update and this is a pretty good one to, to that you can go through. You can, I'll link just in general to their Medium page so you can come here and check everything out if you're interested. But it goes through kind of the locking things. It goes over the votes, the yes and the no votes for the different things that they've had recently. And it just gives you a couple new trackers. They talk about their new vaults. They're constantly adding new vaults as new farms come online. And they do risk tell you that they are risky if you go into them right away. They do talk about their top uh, vaults each week. As you can see, the Dino and the, the Kwai Dao ones, along with this uh, BTC one. Uh, that is really not on sushi have been their biggest earners and growers this week and they don't uh, one thing i would like to see here is them to be a little more transparent and put their top lo losing vaults because obviously the vaults go up and down and people move their funds around because in the world of yield farming and DeFi, we're all chasing that really big yield and it's a bit of a game you know you got to leave your tokens in one place but you're not going to leave them there too long usually unless it's a stable farm you uh you really really like or a project you really support and you're going to be just bouncing around and this site gives you an ability to do that and sometimes will give you a heads up of new farms without you having to play the uh, telegram game the looking around the discord games because they they list them very very quick now this is the new locking addy feature they talked about they've added it in a way and this was approved in the governance though they originally were giving a very big bonus they cut that bonus in half recently because they were they were saying maybe they were giving a little too much for this but you can lock your addy now from anywhere from three months which was kind of normal when you locked it before or up to four years and what that's going to allow you to do is earn a is earn some of the same perks as before and some new perks that they're adding into the system so you get a hundred percent penalty fee of people who uh, unvest their tokens early and for anyone that doesn't know when you're farming in adamant your tokens vest for three months that you claim of the adamant token so you can't actually take those and at a hundred percent until they've been vested for three months while they're vested you're being paid a matic dividend so it's not like you're not making money off of them but if you wanted to sell them you can claim them but you give 50 percent of those tokens away and those go to the people who are locking tokens so that's where this hundred percent penalty of anyone so let's say you were you were farming you earned 10 to adamant you didn't want to wait you'd claim them you'd get five and then five would be distributed to the people who have locked their adamant and who are willing to wait one of the other things that you will see is that uh, the buyback system that they've went and issued 100% of that adamant that they buy is going to be issued to the people who have locked up adamant too and then there's also a boost to Addy earned by staking in the normal vaults. So basically, they're creating a way that you get an extra multiplier on top of your adamant earnings inside some of the different vaults that are on the platform based on how long you have staked for. So see, if you staked your adamant for one year, you'll get a full one, a one x uh, bonus on your like a sovic two times and three years it goes down goes down goes down and then then you see the the lowest one would be so 
basically if you staked four hundred dollars here you'd get credit like you were gonna be getting eight hundred dollars into the pool and if you were down here you'd just be getting a tiny little boost so that's kind of a nice little thing especially because when you're playing around in these smaller farms sometimes you only want to put five or six hundred dollars maybe if you're a big whale you put thousands of dollars into each of them but if you're earning you know two hundred thousand percent apy on something then you're like let me just put a few hundred dollars over there or maybe a few thousand well this gives you a nice little bonus to that so you can put in a little less and still have a nice amount going in they, they explain that this only doubles the Addy earnings for $425 worth of what you put in. So it's not really designed for whales. It's not really designed for somebody to put in $1 million and get credit for $2 million. It's designed more for your regular user who's just putting a few hundred dollars into a vault or is putting a few thousand dollars into the vault and they'll just get an extra bonus of up to $425. Now, that that's... To me a good move but some people might not like that they also explain to you uh, some more stuff here about the penalty and you do want to go through the run book if you're going to choose to invest i'm not going to spend too much more time on that today this is just a quick look these are all the vaults that get the bonus for you doing the lock as you can see it's a lot of the quick vaults it's also this yam usd and guard usd pairs and it's the dino swap vaults the 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 is this Quidow <laughs> vaults and the DFYN vaults and these are pretty popular uh, platforms for sure. So now we're going to just take a quick look at the Adamant platform for anyone who hasn't seen it. And basically here I'm just going to show you that you know they're currently sitting at just under 200 uh, million in TVL. The TVL is down a little bit, but I, a lot of that is due to the uh, market downturn we had, and this has been ticking up as we're starting to turn around and go back up. As you can see really quickly, if we look at the price of Adamant over the last 14 days, they have been in an uptrend again, though they like were trending up from this low of 16, hit just over 20, then they pulled back a little bit, but not quite down to this, this low of almost 12. They, they caught some support at $16 and then they headed back and then it headed back up. Now, I don't want to give an illusion that this token is like, oh, we're on a great uptrend because I'll hit the 90 day and you'll see that at one point this token was over $80. It hit over $80 again and now it's fallen back down here. You could kind of say we might be bottoming out around here. And if we go on another bull run, especially because this is built on Polygon, so if Matic and Ethereum go on another run and Ethereum hits 5000 maybe maybe Matic runs to f to three or four or five dollars I would expect to see Adamant also run with those as that its price is pretty correlated to those assets as it is really used on the polygon network and it, it just ends up that those prices become kind of related if you look back here last time it was at its highs it was it was around the time that we were at some pretty high levels in Ethereum so now now that um, we'll go back here I'll just kind of play take you through the site so as you can see that you can you can really quickly go to the different vaults so these are the iron vaults and their attempt to rebuild and you'll see that it's nice to see that there is a decent amount of money being put into those if you got hurt by that farm hopefully their compensation plan will get started and for that to happen they do need to have people investing into these projects and we do see you have a little bit of money staked over here I'd have to go to the iron site to see what is over there you can see that they also feature uh, the Quai ones. So this is basically the stable coin. And so what this allows you to do is you can put these tokens in here. It'll automatically take the reward that you earn. It'll sell them and then increase these and then also give you some Addy tokens. So that's the, it's a basic idea that you'll see with a lot of the AMMs that are out there. They also have the new dino, the dino ones on here, and some of these ones are pretty exciting. You want to get in, take a chance at the dino USDC with the two, 22,000 APY. Uh, if I was going to get into this, then one of the things I would think about was putting this over here because some of my tokens are going to be getting sold off and turned into dino USD. So I'm going to be compounding to make those amazing returns. But some of my tokens are going to get put into the adamant token. And as I've shown you, the price of the adamant token doesn't seem to be as volatile as some of the other farming tokens. It does go up and down and it, and, and stuff but it seems to hold levels and it doesn't drop just because dino drops so let's say dino hits a wall we have some big sellers and it just plummets in price well some of your profits are going to be protected because they're going to be vested over here in the adamant 
platform. Now, the one drawback to that is that they are locked for 90 days in the vesting area where you're getting this um, right here in this stake where you're going to be making 300% APY paid to you in Raptomatic. So you're going to be collecting Raptomatic and then if you've locked it, you're also going to be correct connecting well, you're just going to be getting the, the Raptomatic. If I click here and I go into here and see if you, for your staked Addy that get vested for you, you earn this 93% APR in Raptomatic from the fee sharing of the platform. And those you can come and collect every day or every couple days, depending on when you want to do it and depending how big of your stake is and how many Addies you have in the platform. I have around 20 and I get like, I want to say like three to four Matic a day. That's not too bad in my opinion. 20 of these is about $400 worth. They're all staked and I'm earning like five, $6 every few days while Maddox's around a dollar. So that's pretty good returns as you can imagine because you are earning you know, 92% APR. They, they do say that it's a higher APY because you could be staking those or taking those Maddox and doing other things with them obviously and then you're earning more return. So this is kind of just my quick-ish uh, breakdown of the Adamant uh, platform. Uh, obviously, you can come here and play around and look at, let's just really quick go by uh, all vaults and let's look uh, APYs to see which ones are the crazy ones right now. Oh, I have to do it again. Oh, is it not going to do it right now? That would that would be a bummer. I wanted to kind of, well, we can click on this button. <laughs> so this is what they call the Deegan button, where you're going to see the 22,000%, the 4,000%, the 28,000% over here. I don't even know what Crystal is. I've heard of Dino, but this one is paying out at uh, 155, 275 APY. Obviously, all of these farms are very, very dangerous. And if you get into them, you have to be very, very worried about like, you know, ice going down or dino going down or crystal going down or peewing going down and you possibly losing all of your liquidity if these drop. So this is something that is really for the more experienced investor if you're going to play around with the Deegan pools. Uh, I like to go ahead and look at the uh, different kind of stable stable coins on here. Those can be kind of fun to play with because you can end up with... Uh, if we go to all vaults and then we go to uh, let's see USDC there's all these different USDC farms that are paired up with other stable coins and they earn 20 40 80 percent or 58 percent depending on the one you're in obviously you gotta you gotta look which one's here I, I use this one the PUSD USDC which is at 45 percent and so it's kind of fun to, to to mix in some of the some of your, a little bit of your money in these crazy ones and maybe some of your money in the stable ones you'll have to decide for yourself because obviously I don't know you I don't know your financial situation I'm not your financial advisor so I can't tell you where to invest your money but I am enjoying using the adamant platform thanks everybody have a good one goodbye